So today we're going to be looking at different kicks that we can do in rugby. There's a variety of kicks that you can do. You've got a punt kick, a drop kick and a grubber kick. And they're the types of kicks that we're going to be looking at today. So the first kick we're going to look at is the punt kick. A punt kick is for distance. We're trying to kick the ball a long way down the field. And it's really important that when we get the drop of the ball on our foot, at the point of the ball, hits the top of the foot when we're kicking it. Okay, so a punt kick, the point is facing forward and you're going to kick the ball from behind here, like that. Okay, so you're kicking right on the point of the back there. So you might kick to a partner here, just over a short distance, maybe 10 metres, or could even kick against the wall. You're just working on the drop, so you want to try and get a bit of back spin when you're kicking the punt kick against the wall. Notice my shoulders are facing in the direction where I'm kicking the ball. Okay, just, just do 10, maybe 20 strikes into a wall, trying to catch it. And then, yeah, if you've got a, if you've got a partner to be able to kick to, they could go maybe 10, 20, 30 meters back each time, and you can start to have a run up as you kick in. Kick is the grubber kick. The grubber kick is a kick that we're looking to run across the ground. Okay, so we're not necessarily looking for distance, we're looking for accuracy, but grubber kicking the ball through for somebody else to run onto. Okay, so when we kick the grubber kick, this time we want to kick the ball at the top, so we create some overspin like this, so it runs forward. So again, you'd have your shoulders square to where you're kicking, and this time you kick the ball on the top. Okay, so again, on top, so it dribbles forward. Okay, so this time we want to get it a little bit harder, so we're going to kick it to a wall. Okay, so you're kicking it into the wall. So it creates the overspin. See that? Now it's dribbling forward, top of the ball, slightly leaning the ball back, on the top. And then the same thing, you could either kick towards a partner or you could kick for a partner. The grubber kick might be on an angle, okay, so you're looking to kick it through for the winger to chase, or it might be just himself to chase. The last kick that we're going to do is the drop kick. Okay, the drop kick is really important in rugby because it can score you three points if you kick it over the goal, but also at a restart as well. So the kick off has to be a drop kick. Okay, so what we do with a drop kick is point our fingers to the floor and the point of the ball is facing down so that when it hits the floor, that's when we connect on the half volley. Okay, so as the ball's dropped, we intercept with our foot. Okay, which is quite hard to demonstrate about actually doing it. So drop the ball through just as it bounces so if you just get to there that's when the leg should swing through so we're looking to hit the ball in the middle okay you see the set on the half ball and you can just keep practicing this into a wall and again if you've got a partner or better still if you've got some posts that you can try and drop kick the ball through so that's all the different types of kick we're going to learn today